Hey guys, just wanted to come do a quick video to let you know I am getting ready to prep the mac and cheese so you guys can see how I make my mac and cheese. I make my mac and cheese three or four different ways. I'll show you guys one of the ways that I make it. And over time, I'm sure you guys will probably see all four ways of how I make it. Different ways of making mac and cheese. Um, and today, just wanted to show you what I'm using. I'm using Kraft Mild Cheddar Shredded Cheese. And I'm also using the Kraft medium cheddar block and I just cut those up into cubes and my shredded cheese of course is already shredded and I use the large Mueller elbows I also use the smaller elbow noodles but uh, today I'm using the large elbow noodles alright just wanted to show you guys what uh, cheese and noodles I use for the mac and cheese alright guys I will be back okay guys I am back and as you can see, I've already boiled my noodles. Didn't think you guys want to see that part. If you guys need to know how to boil noodles, then um, I don't know about that. But okay. Anyway, so I've got my noodles already all drained, cooled off. And I just kind of toss my noodles around to make sure they're not sticking. All right. So I just start adding in everything. Okay. Let's get some butter in here. And y'all know I use... If you don't know by now, I use the I can't believe it's not butter. I this is the only butter I use. And I just put like um two tablespoons. Two and a half. That's what it's looking like. Two and a half. I don't want to put too much butter in it. Alright, so we got that in there. We got our butter. Can't believe it's not butter. All right, we got that in there. Uh oh, dropping my butter. All right, let's see what we're doing next. Got our butter in there. Butter. Let's get our eggs in here. I am going to add three eggs to this. Three eggs. Got to have your eggs. Your eggs hold everything together. So I'm going to do three. Might want to do four. Let me see how that's looking. Uh, let me see. I might add another egg. See how everything's looking. Let me get my milk in here. I'm going to start off with one cup of milk. One cup of milk. Let's see if that's enough. One cup of milk. We got one cup of milk, three eggs, and two big tablespoons of butter. Make sure you guys can see. Go. Make sure you're right in that bowl. All right. Getting this around. Okay. All right. Get it all mixed up. All mixed up. Let me see. Add a little salt. This is where I add my salt. This is one of the ways I make my mac and cheese. Okay. Our butter. Two big tablespoons of butter. We got three eggs. One cup of milk. Let's just get these guys all together on one page. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to throw one more egg in there. Because these aren't the large eggs. These are just the regular size eggs. So I'm going to throw a fourth one in there. Stir that up. Make sure you guys can see me. Alright. And like I said, this is one of the four ways that I make my mac and cheese. And one of them has a secret recipe. Uh, a secret ingredient that I can't tell you guys. So I'm not going to show you guys that. That is my secret 
Only I know it. And my daughters, of course, I passed it on to them. It is a secret. My secret. Like I said, I passed it on to my daughters, but nobody else knows it. All right, so we've got that all in. Now, let's start adding my cheese. And let me show you guys how I cut my cheese. Just cut it up into small little cubes. Little tiny little cubes. Takes a little longer, but oh well. If you want good mac and cheese, you'll do what you gotta do. So, I didn't show you guys me cutting up the cheese. I know y'all didn't want to see that. Me cutting cheese up in cubes. So, anyway, that's how I did it. In little small cubes. And as you see, I'm just adding that. Let me get over here so you guys can see. Adding that to my noodles. With that. Everything is coming together. Now, you're going to have to add some more milk in here. You ain't got enough milk in here. So, I'm going to add a little bit more milk. Let me get it stirred up a little bit more. Get everything mixed. I do want to add a little bit more milk, but before I add more milk, I'm going to go ahead and add a bag of the shredded cheese. I put the cube cheese in. I'm also putting a pack of shredded cheese. Putting that in there too. Sometimes I add pepper. Sometimes I don't. Just depends on how I feel. All right, looking good. Mac and cheese looking good. People try to make mac and cheese complicated and make it like it's some kind of big recipe and complicated. No, it's not. It's, it's not that serious. It's, re it's really not that serious. Let me make sure you guys can see. All right, yep, you can see. Yeah, it's not that serious. All right, as you can see, I'm gonna need a little bit more milk in there. Once you start adding all this cheese, it gets a little dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and add half a cup, just adding half a cup of milk. So now we've got one and a half cup of milk. So we have that one box of noodles. It's the 16 ounce large elbow noodle. Got our three blocks of cheese. We've got our three bags of shredded cheese, the mild cheddar. We've got four small eggs, a cup and a half of milk. Got two big tablespoons of butter. That's what we got in here. Just mixing them all together, mixing them all together. Mixing them all together. That's it. Now, sometimes I add sour cream, sometimes I don't. Uh, but today I am going to add sour cream to my mac and cheese. Just a little bit. Uh, the sour cream gives it a little, little extra flavor. And I'm using the, um, I'm sorry, cream cheese. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm using the Publix regular cream cheese some people use sour cream but no i use cream cheese cream cheese has a more smoother taste uh sour cream is a little yeah a little sour that's to me that's why it's called sour cream but i'll put a little cream cheese in here Just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, basically, that's about that's about three tablespoons. You know, just so you guys know, about three tablespoons of cream cheese. And let me show you that again. That's just the Publix regular cream cheese, guys. I love Publix products. They are good. I do not have a problem with them. All right. So let me get that cream cheese back in here, back in the refrigerator where it is safe. Okay. Cream cheese in there. I could have cut it up, but. It'll find its way getting all melted. 
just gives it a little extra flavor when you eat it you'll notice it gives your mac and cheese a little kick just a little extra smooth cheesy flavor sometimes I melt the cream cheese uh, before I put it in sometimes I do you know so that way it blends in better but now I'm just kind of smashing it to the side so it melts blends in with everybody else That all blended up. All our cheeses and noodles. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys can see. And I don't want to slide away and you guys can't see. Cream cheese will melt. It will melt. Don't worry about that. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and get this in the pan. Let me move this milk out of our way. All right, let's get our pan here. I always uh, pre-spray my pan, and y'all know it is my old faithful Gotham. This is a non-stick pan, but you know what? I, I still spray my pan. I still spray my pan. All right, let me make sure I got enough milk in it. Get some of that milk from the bottom. Get it all mixed up real good. Okay. All right, looking good, looking good. All right, let's go ahead and get it poured into our pan. Got. Let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Let's make sure we get that cream cheese spread it around. Put that over there. Cream cheese spread it around. And it will melt. Cream cheese will melt. Don't worry about the cream cheese. It will melt. Our pan. Nice and layered there. I just take my time and layer it. I don't I don't throw it all in at once. Because you know why? You gotta make sure your cheese gets spread it evenly, you know. Some parts may have more cheese than others. So I just kinda, you know. Make sure my cheese gets spread it around properly and evenly. Everybody's getting their share. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Finish getting that all poured in. Looks delicious. And I just kind of smash it around. Here we go. All right, we got everything in, and I'm just gonna get that cream cheese, spread it all around evenly, just kind of. Cut it up with my spoon and spread it around evenly. Make sure cheese gets spread it around evenly. You know, where you got your chunks at. Alright. Looking good. Looking good. I've already got my stove preheated to 350.
Yep. We got my stove preheated at 350. Get our pan all cleaned up on the sides. Y'all know me. I am a neat freak. All right. So, got our pan all cleaned up on the sides here. Got the mac and cheese in there, all nice. Okay, now we've got everything in there. You guys can see, good. All right, now I'm gonna take another thing with shredded cheese. Another bag of shredded cheese. And of course, I'm just gonna spread it across the top. Make sure you get in those corners. Make sure you get your corners all cheesed up. They need cheese too. Don't forget about those corners. I don't. Alright. We just going to layer it like that. I don't push my cheese down. I let it stay up. It's going to melt down anyway. So. I just sprinkle it on there. It will melt its way down. Down, down. Get them sides. Make sure the whole entire top gets covered with cheese. We don't want to leave anybody out. Make sure everybody getting some cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. Make sure everybody getting cheese. Mm-hmm. Okay. Crab cheese. Some over there. Make sure everybody got cheese. Okay. That looks delicious. Looks delicious. Wait until it cooks. Wait until it cooks. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do across the top of my mac and cheese, I'm going to Sprinkle some salt across the top. Just a little salt. And here is where if I'm going to do pepper, I would sprinkle the pepper across the top too. But I'm not going to do pepper today. So. All right, guys. Our oven is preheated. Now, some people um, cover their mac and cheese up. I do not cover mine up. Nothing wrong with that. You cover it up. You cover it up. You do. You do. You don't. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I just choose not to cover mine up. Um, I like to let mine be uncovered that way everything gets all melted and you know quickly all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and get in the oven and i will be back when i pull it out hey guys it is arika misha i am back getting ready to throw our butterfly uh chicken into our grease so that it can get nicely fried and let me show you guys let me spin you around over here first. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead, because my grease is hot, so it's ready. Let me go ahead and get the um, chicken floured. Just going to put some flour down. And that is our timer on that mac and cheese. That mac and cheese is ready and ready to come out. Let me cut that timer off, and I will get that mac and cheese out in a second. Just need to get this chicken in there because the grease is hot and ready. All right, let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Yep, okay. All right, let's get that butterfly chicken that's been marinating all night. Let's get that on here. I'm going to put some across the top there. Let's get our chicken nicely coated. ahead and flip that over make sure everybody getting covered in flour okay kind of spread it around a little bit pat it on there a little bit make sure everything getting covered with flour okay right put a little bit more on here kind of pat my flour down on it Making sure it's getting covered. Make sure your sides getting flour and everything. Because this is our butterfly chicken. And we want it to come out nice. So, make sure all the little cracks and crevices got 
flour. All right? Then I'm just going to shake it off like that. Let me turn you guys around to the grease that is ready. Ready for the chicken. I'll get my chicken dropped in. Chicken go down in there. I'll go ahead and get my second piece of chicken floured over here while you guys watch that get all fried. Okay. Getting my second piece of chicken all floured up. Get it all floured up and ready over here. And this is our butterfly chicken. Go ahead and squeeze this second one in there. Just going to put those two in there. Let them nicely fry up. Get this third piece of chicken all floured up. Just want to lightly flour both sides. Lightly flour. You don't want to over flour it. Too much flour and then your grease gets all floury and all soggy so we don't want to do that we want to lightly lightly flour the um, chicken then you just shake the excess off get my hands washed here can see our butterfly chicken is cooking up. It's going to be so nice and pretty when it fries up. Nice and pretty. Alright guys, while that is frying up, and I just want to remind you guys, I am drinking my caramel frappe. Make sure you guys go watch that video, how I make my caramel frappes um, from McDonald's and Starbucks. I have created my own recipe. Uh, the video is doing really well, almost at 500 views. It's doing really well. So um, make sure you guys go watch that. I tell you how to make your own homemade caramel frappe. Instead of going to McDonald's paying three dollars and some change or five or six bucks at Starbucks every day. It is delicious. I have had several people message me telling me how they're saving money now and they're making it at home now. So I'm happy to help out. So make sure you guys go follow that video and watch that video if you guys um, like caramel frappes. Alright guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let this chicken uh, fry up. And when it gets about done, I'll be back to let you guys see it. All right, guys. Hey, guys. Just wanted to come back real quick. I forgot to show you guys. I just took that mac and cheese out of the oven. As you can see, it is still bubbling hot. Look at that mac and cheese. Taking y'all in. Taking y'all in to the mac and cheese. Look at it. Oh. Ooh wee, I'm telling you, my homemade mac and cheese is one of the best. Everybody always wants me to make my homemade mac and cheese. So, you guys see, it is one of the best mac and cheese. Like I said, this is one of the many ways that I make it, but this is still good. All of the ways I make it is delicious. So, this is the one I make where I put a little cream cheese in it. Gives it a whole nother flavor. And we've got our 
Got our fried butterfly chicken over there going. That should be coming out soon. I've got to flip that back up off of my macaroni and cheese. I know you didn't. Just try to bite it. Back up, back up, back up. Look at that mac and cheese. Look at that mac and cheese, y'all. It is hot. This pan is hot. You see. That's going to bring it in for y'all. I'm going to bring it in. Look at, look at it. Look at the mac and cheese. It is hot. Got it. Ooh wee. I'm gonna let it cool down. I'm gonna let it cool down because it's hot. Let it cool down. We're gonna zoom y'all in. Zoom y'all back in. That mac and cheese. Ooh wee. All right, y'all. I ain't gonna sing for y'all today. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. It's Sunday. So that means I'm be singing the Lord's song today. It's the Lord's day today. It's Jesus day today. So I ain't gonna be singing no Beyonce on the Lord's day. All right, let's see what's going on with our chicken here. Get y'all over here looking while I flip this over. Ooh wee! I'm telling you, that butterfly chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Let me show y'all. Look how, look how it looks. Look how it looks. Ooh wee! Look at that chicken. Look at it. Look. Look at it. That's a butterfly chicken. It looks amazing. Look at it. Looks amazing. I got y'all zoomed in on it now. Look at it. Hmm. We can have to show y'all again. I'm gonna go ahead and let it cook. I'm gonna leave it alone. Let it finish frying because it's almost finished. Almost finished. We got that butterfly fried chicken over there. And we got homemade mac and cheese over here. And I'm gonna cook some cornbread muffins. Alright, y'all. We about finished with this Sunday dinner. Sunday's best, Kurt Franklin. All right now, oh, don't get me started. Do you want a revolution? Ooh, ooh, hey, y'all don't know about that. All right, that's one of Kurt Franklin's older songs. Y'all don't know about that one. All right, y'all, don't get me started. Let me go ahead, I'll be back. Okay guys, and this is the final look. I just took out my little cornbread muffins and these are the cornbread muffins, the new ones that Pillsbury has come out with <clears throat> in the little roll and the little blue pack. Um, so yeah, that's their new cornbread muffins. They taste pretty good. Um, and this is our fried chicken and our mac and cheese. This is our completed Sunday dinner. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I don't want to make this a long video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms, at Erika Misha on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support as usual. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And don't forget, knowledge is power. Thank you guys.